Hi, this is Christina Rodriguez at Diva by Design in Harlingen, Texas. And today I want to talk to you about why retail furniture might cost you more than you might think. You buy retail, you go online and you buy something, you've got maybe two or three choices, they're great, you buy it, you get it home. Does it match your room? Oh, it may be a little bit off, but it was so cheap, it doesn't matter. Or you go to the store and you buy it and then you get it home and it doesn't quite fit in your room because you didn't measure your room or measure the space that it was going in before you went to the store. Always do that. So that's my tip for the day. But retail furniture is pre-made. It's a limited range of options and you can get it quickly maybe one to two weeks at most if you're ordering it, maybe the same day if you go to the store and you buy the floor model. Sometimes you can get it that quickly. Think about it this way. You're buying something, depending on what you buy, especially online, you're gonna get something that's very inexpensively made. The materials are inexpensive, the labor was inexpensive because it's normally made in another country, which shall not be named. And they're not taking care with their products. Any designer that you know is normally, typically not going to suggest retail furniture. Not because we want you to spend so much money. That is not why. To us, it's the value of the piece. And the value is not necessarily in it being cheap and quick. The value comes in how long is that going to last? That is why we typically don't recommend buying things from online. So how, why would it cost you more? Well, the things that you buy from the online websites, because the materials are so inexpensive, <clears throat> you're gonna be replacing them. They're, they're not going to last three to five years max, especially if you use it every day. Maybe if you set it in a corner and you don't sit on it, it could last you forever. Then that's a really good buy. But if this is a piece that you're going to be sitting on on a daily basis, you're going to sit and watch TV, you're going to sit on the weekends and watch movies with your kids, that you're going to spend time sitting in. This is your chair that you're going to sit in every day to read your book. You know, those. that's where you want to spend a little bit more money and go either the semi-custom or the custom route because that way you get exactly what you want. Yes, it does cost more money. I will not lie to you about that. It costs more money. But you get exactly what you want. You get to choose everything about that piece of furniture and you know what goes into it. You know how it's made and it will last you a lot longer and you will not be spending, say you pay $500 for a chair. It's not very comfortable, very inexpensively made. You sit on it and then you're going, uh, I don't want to sit on that anymore. But you get tired of it, toss it out, spend another $500 on another chair. That's $1,000 you've just spent where you could have taken that $1,000 and put it into something and got exactly what you wanted that you knew before you bought it was going to be comfortable and was going to last. That to me is the value of custom over retail.